What is up everyone, so Ramoth Mom's first here, and I realize I don't look exactly all that thrilled. And that's because, um, I recorded a good amount of this episode, about 25 minutes worth of it. Uh, and then my house lost power and it crashed. Uh, then I had to go on vacation when I went to New York. So, it's been a week, and I come back and I finally check the file, um, because I have power back. And it, uh, is corrupted. So, that pisses me off a great deal. It actually cut me off mid-cutscene, so it took me back a little bit, but... <clears throat> I guess I'll just catch y'all up, and you don't have to see me running around like an idiot. So, um... I, after a, bun a good amount of grinding, I acquired some new swords, which I'll show off in a second. I also have the bear armor. Yes. Uh, I did a lot of grinding, actually. It paid off. Um, I forget, I think, I forget the swords I have. One's it's some, I got my silver sword from completing something for, uh, Skilliage. Uh, and I think I have, like, the black unicorn is my seal. It's been, it's been a little over a week since I've played, so I, forgive me for forgetting. Um, so yeah, so we're on the, uh, Isles of the Mist. I ran into a hut with a bunch of dwarves, and I was tasked to rescue their friends. Um, I managed to save one, and as the idiot starts climbing down, he falls and dies. Then I find another, and we, we find the third as well, and the third was killed. So right now I'm escorting that other back to, uh, the place, and he, uh, is, he suffers from narcolepsy. So, yay. Anyway, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, I, I, there's foglings everywhere. Well, I hope that wasn't your jerking arm. Then again, I guess since you're dead. Yeah, Gaspard to the hut. Need to bring him back to his friends. Um, I really am. Damn. Okay, hold on. Let me just check the map. Okay, so we just get on this path. Oh yeah, the path with lanterns and safe light. Yeah, but he's he suffers from narcolepsy. He seems nice enough. They they they're all marooned on this island. Oh, if you're a wee bit drowsy, oh. just gonna one moment while I um, um yeah, just turn up the volume a little bit. Wake up. Come on, move now. Move now. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Okay. So, well, I brought back one of them. Ah, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shut! Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Ah. <clears throat> Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. That's understandable. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. No, Siri can't be gone.
way to make it slow and dramatic. <clears throat> oh! You know, this is what I was not hoping would happen for our little, uh, reunion. But I'm not gonna believe she's dead. could be a Doppler, she could... I'm thinking Sleep Potion, personally, if she's supposed to stay on these aisles for a very long time. To me, it would make sense. Just saying, I'm not gonna believe she's dead, so sorry if she is, and I'm being rude by talking over her, but I'm not gonna believe it. Yeah, her eyes do look a little convincing. But, still. Oh, it's her. Wow. And boom. That was really smart. This is rather touching. Fun to think, it would have been 30 minutes in the other video to get to this point. Eh. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalna. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. This is really nice. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. Um. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. 
Turned out Eridan had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. The fog enveloped us. And Avalok began gasping for air. Oh, That's dear. That's Eridan cursed Avalok. Triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation. That's what he was after. But Avalok refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalok opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalok's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. And now this is where it okay. I barely escaped <clears throat> right. And then there was the Baron. Oh, he did. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm hmm Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Right. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalok, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the Temple Guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the Guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. Ah. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of money, Brad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Doodoo. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We'd just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. Skellige. Sure of Let's Skellige. keep going to Skellige. The first Skellige. Was the place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so you actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eridin can sense where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eridin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. 
these dreams and the others ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. Hmm. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? <laughs> Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though smart it would be quicker. And draw Eridan to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. <laughs> I do wonder why he hates them so much. I'm sure that's explained prior. They took the boat. Listen, we gotta think of a way to. Oh no. <clears throat> Remember that thing about a portal? Start to look like a good idea. They'll know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. See ya, bitches. I guess they were able to locate her now that she'd woken up. So that's kind of on me, but whatever. Come on. Okay, so, yeah, that was... It was kind of cool seeing everything connect. But, uh, meh, whatever. The serene scene's about to, uh, get a little interrupted, isn't it? This is nice. <laughs> and she seems very happy, which is also nice. <laughs> Welcome back, child. Nice little reunion. I'm glad. Standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit, any of you. All just like I remembered. Except Daryl, you know, one more scar, but whatever. What? Oh yeah. Little sis. Wait, what? What are you doing here? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad Triss is here, but I never completed her side quest. Oh, that was another thing. It was glitched, so I couldn't, but I completed pretty much everyone else's. I... They're all here. Hours of grinding. For help. Avalux resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. 
No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Yes. Damn, it's good to see you again. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Oh, Isaac. Please, th please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. No, we should get going. They're waiting for us. Okay, see y'all. I'm just gonna go around it here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. Oh god, I'm on fire. Yeah. Okay. She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him do. Yeah, but it's not gonna be an easy little. It's not gonna be easy battle, that's for sure. That's cool. Greetings, Wolf. The door process is so weird. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yep, climb on up. So let's see what this council's all about, shall we? An illusion. Greetings, Geralt. If I'm to die today, I wish to look solution for the occasion. Are you part of Put this out on my door. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Okay. Time for a good old fashioned council. Calm before the storm. There's gonna be a war. Oh boy. You know, at first when I found out that this was gonna happen, I was excited, but now I'm just kinda anxious. Very, very anxious. Thank you for coming. Geeky. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? Whoa. There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, you'll have to the here. fortress huh. with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. <laughs> the hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erdin should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss, and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Okay. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. Yeah, but no one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. 
What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this, my hackerman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You That's know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Do I have to decide this? What's the lab get us? Anyone have any ideas for the workshop? Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? The roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, let's patch the wall. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. Let's not forget the laboratory. I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witches' traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. Oh, come on. Always relied on potions. We should brew as many as possible. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Okay. Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's oh, summon. Great. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods. Where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Oh, don't tell me I have to place things. That's exactly what's gonna happen. I don't want this responsibility. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't have to. I hope I made the right choices. I just think potions might be better than traps. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. Your potions. Excellent. Thanks for everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into Superior the woods. Superior swallow. Wow. Okay. Our theory. Oh. Got a minute. Oh, serious talk coming. I won't let them take you. You know that. I know. Good. You gotta keep clear. Stay out of trouble. Don't treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. Ooh. I like it when you smile. Wow, that was honestly an awesome Come here. Good. Hug time? Yeah, hug time. It's kind of awkwardly done, though. Everything will be all right. Very forced, too. Okay. Join, uh, exit the keep and. Okay. Everything will be okay. Probably not.
What are you up to, Siri? Nothing, nothing good. Okay. Everyone's getting ready, polishing up blades. It's gonna be one hell of a battle. Here. Okay, oh, just like the dream. Best when you're gonna be old, we're still pretty badass. Yeah. Awesome. This is exciting. Come on. There it is. Though, I just am curious, why didn't... I mean, I'm sure she can do it by herself, but why didn't Yin and Triss do it together? More power, whatever. Awesome. Who's that? I didn't click anything. Oh. I'm gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell, really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting. Remember that. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Urden at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Okay. And we're gonna end things right there. I know. Isn't that mean, but whatever. It's just gonna go that way. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. That'd be nice. Until next time, I've been Sorum Off Moms the first. And I'll be seeing you.